One Reverend Father don't bust out my people, don't be smart, you know, make one relax. I go play this full video. Now the more they see for my screen, so you are highly welcome. <laughs> When I know say for the past how many days now one video just the move from pillar to post when Apostle John C. Suleiman says shameless evils. When I know say I do video concerning that update and when I constantly clear the air say me Urom Peking I not support Apostle John C. Suleiman for using that word say shameless evils. You understand? When I know say I did so much they like people won't be like say they know they carry this issue of religion put for head issue of uh, tribalism. You understand? E.g. just like this Reverend Father now. It gets sense, you understand? A person will get brain. Because the reason why they talk like this, if you watch this video, you know what it me and they try to talk about. You understand? This man gets sense so because with the way this man they respond for this video, now you know say <laughs> many get sense because Bible talk and say many are called, few are chosen. Well, guys, make you watch this full video. Why I go see you now for the ending of this video. And Tiagasa, how many times would they tell you before you know that Nigeria is not for you? There is something, Apostle Suleiman Johnson, where people have been attacking him, that he called the Igbos, he said, shameless Igbos. Yes. Shameless what? Igbos. So he said, shameless Igbos, and people have been attacking him on social media. Hear me now. Let me answer those attackers. Hear me. If you listen to that apostle, Justin Suleiman, he never gave any insult to the Igbos. But those insulted was Igbos that sell their brothers. People don't listen to these things very well. If you if you if you watch that man, he gets it very well in that his speech or statement. He was so angry. And he said that the Igbos are people that they sell their brothers. That even if your brother is saying something useless, must you attack him publicly? Must you attack him publicly? Even if you don't believe in what he's saying, you can call him inside and advise him. The difference between Oduduwa Republic and Biafra is because the elders in Yoruba land do they believe in what son the Igbo who was doing? Many of them don't believe in him. But when he was arrested, all of them came out. Because he's their son. And son the Igbo who is out of the prison now. And as I heard that the judgment was against the Nigerian government. And they have been asked to pay him compensation in billions. Because Yoruba elders came out and fought for their son. But Igbo elders will always attack their own sons. That's a problem. So Apostle Johnson Suleiman did not insult the Igbos. He did not call the Igbos shameless. But he called Igbos those who are selling their brothers. Those who attack their brothers, he called them shameless. And Father Magnus Ebere SDV, I join my voice with his voice that any Igbo man, whether a lay person, anybody that used to attack his own brother publicly, he used to attack his brother publicly, that person is a shameless person. Many Igbo subu ike kanolo. Ike me negene. Ike me negene. And hear me now. Even the issue of Nande Kalo, the issue of Nande Kalo, where he is today, if you trace his arrest, you may see the hand of an Igbo man yes. in the arrest. You may see the hand. Because, okay, now the Biafra agitation, there was a time the, the thing was so high that even the northern women, I was not after that day, northern women went on on a protest telling their northern husband 
please let the Biafra go. Let the Igbos go. We don't want bloodshed again in this country. Hmm. It was everywhere heated. People were, they, those in the north were saying, leave the Igbos to go. Oh. After three or four days, Igbo elders had a meeting in Enugu. Oh. And with one voice, they said, we are not part of the agitation. We are not part of the Biafra agitation. We are not part of it. It is not the... Uh, it is not the Igbo agenda. And after they said that, two weeks here, Nandekale was captured. And the killings from Nigeria soldiers and police increased in Igbo land here. Because here may now, if there, if there is killings in Igbo state here by those who should protect us, in Imo State here, the person we should blame is the governor. <laughs> because and Tiagasa, how many times would they tell you before you know that Nigeria is not for you? So guys, I also wanna watch the full video. Hmm. I wanna see this very video when be like say me I carry control away for our table. So as I first tell you now, I like waiting this Reverend Father do now man of wisdom. You understand? He gets sense here. Yeah? He 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 brain eh? Oh my god because when i watch the video i say wow because this video i suppose drop on yesterday based on say i did kind of busy you understand now i can't say any how today but i will try just drop on so guys this other sort of video one i see for my screen so when they display so they come from baptist high school when i know say for some time now this school it gets some kind of buzz boss when be like say man it did happen for inside the school concerning hijab when be like say man some uh muslim female student that they wear they go to school, you understand, based on if they wear on top uniform, it's like they think get the way they be, you understand. Now the reason why the school management, they, they can kind of stop uh, some students, you understand, they can kind of say no to a job. You understand? Now from there, when some outside that they start to begin to do basketballs for inside the school, they can't even shut them down, you understand? And meanwhile, why they go to cause problem? This one authority from the school management. I don't understand. Now they see what they always talk for Nigeria. The school management say no to this thing. We're not going to follow the rules. You understand? Because the thing for me, they somehow, because according to the school management, they say they don't like and when they say, some go, they wear hijab on top of their uniform. So the thing go kind of, get the way they, they make that they did somehow. You understand? Well, guys, I go live on right now with this very video. Make on watch and why I go see you now for the next update coming out soon. Respect one love, guys. And Tiagasa, how many times would they tell you before you know that Nigeria is not for you? Early this year, crisis broke out at the Baptist High School in Jagbo in Oyu local government area of Kwara State over the refusal of the management to grant access to some female Muslim students and to the school claiming that wearing the hijab negates the school's dress code. This action provoked a free-for-all fight and the death of a parent, which led to the school being shut down, as well as the setting up of a fact-finding committee by the state government. After six weeks of deliberation, it's time for the committee to submit its report to the state government and the chairman performed that duty. Government should please institute an interfeat dialogue with the Jago community before the school is reopened. Besides, there should be a biannual interfeat confession to seek for peace in our sphere. Receiving the report, Governor Abdurrahman Abdurrazak shares his thoughts on the issue, promising to resolve it in a way that will be acceptable to all parties. We do understand the sensitivity on both sides of the religious divide. Um, we have been eagerly awaiting the report. Um, as we, the government is in a hurry to open the schools and make sure there's peace within the community before that is done. The criticism of the composition of the committee that heralded your announcement immediately died down once you got to work. And obviously people knew you were doing the right job and making the right contacts and consulting rightly all the stakeholders in the community. So we thank you for the diligent work you have done. 
With the report submitted to the state government and the governor promising to do the needful, it's hoped that at the end of it all, the crisis in the public schools over the wearing of hijab will be settled once and for all so the students of the short school will go back to their classes. And Tiagasa, how many times would they tell you before you know that Nigeria is not for you?